Hello everybody, Flick here, it's time for yet another Let's Look At and today we are taking a look at Gravity Ghost by Ivy Games LLC. This is a somewhat sombre, maybe that's not the right word, maybe melancholy kind of puzzle game involving gravity and I would say it's it's not technically just aimed at children but I think it's a game that would suit children more so than most adults. I might be wrong about that but we'll get into it. Uh, you're going to see my mouse pointer on the screen just long enough to load up my game here and then I'll get it off the screen because I'm just going to use the keyboard and we're greeted by the world map. So I've only played for about 25 minutes off camera before recording this so setting up the story is a little hard but you play as this lady here who is currently on the black hole which is where a world was but was destroyed and you are travelling to all these various guardians in the shape of the animals you can kind of see there on the star map to conquer guardians challenges to remake the world and there's this other kind of story going on at the side where you're trying to find the ghost of a dead fox and then you might also be dead there's flashbacks to when you were alive with your family and there's some family issues going on as well as I say it has a nice uh, presentable art style and you know it's calming but there is this little bit of melancholy running through it and I think that's on purpose as well so my time with the game so far comprised of the entire of the first area the lizard like or iguana type area visiting the black hole and now I'm ready to unlock the next area of the game which is the rat I think maybe it's a mouse I'm not sure but we'll get into that there is a hundred levels in total or over a hundred levels actually apparently 10 power-ups you can get I've only seen one so far and as I said there is animations but let's jump back a little bit and do one of the earlier stages just so I can talk a little bit about how the game plays so we'll do uh, spirits and skeletons so if you jump into a level, here I am on the far left and I can move around the planet using the arrow keys and that trail behind me by the way is my hair which extends when you pick up little flowers on stages. So how do you get to the next planet? You jump and then you get drawn in by the gravity of that planet and then you can carry on moving like so. Then do another little hop and there I am on the gravity or caught by the gravity of the final planet and I can go through that door and that's that stage is done. Usually there's a star on the stage to pick up but I've already done this one so it's no longer there and the power up I have is I can hold down and it actually draws me in super quick to the gravity I'm closest to so as you can see there it made me travel, uh, traverse a little differently. But that's the basics but things do get more complicated. Let's jump to say yeah, bubble bounce, why not? Right, so here we are. If I just tap on these, that happens. And some weird and wonderful stuff can happen. I hope the volume of the music isn't too loud, but I do want you to be able to hear it a bit higher than usual because the music in the game is part and parcel of the experience I feel. And the game boasts that there is, there's no timer, there's no fail state, there's no dying. It's, a, it's an artistic game more so than a, a pure challenge game. Yes, you still have to wor work out... How do I use the gravity of the planets to, you know, collect all the flowers, collect the stars to progress? You also have this kind of like sub-objective of finding the ghosts or spirits of dead animals and bringing them to some bones to kind of bring them into the afterlife. I, that's me kind of putting my own impression on what I think is happening because I don't know for sure yet. But let's open up the area I've not been to and we'll do some stages that I'm not familiar with. So if we look at this layout, if I get to the light heart that looks like I can unlock another power and on the stage where you can see those bones just above me where it says strange attractors if I can bring a spirit from one of the other stages in this area to there I'll be able to uh, do that thing I was talking about bringing I don't know I don't think you're bringing the animal back to life you're you're more like welcoming welcoming them to this world as I say it's a bit of a strange concept it's a bit out there and not something I'm actually very used to so we've got a fish bouncing there we've got a nice close-up camera angle this time as well the art style is very nice it's very very old-fashioned cartoon I would say from my childhood not quite paper craft but but that style you can tell that it's almost mimicking a kind of not watercolor but you know a painting a living painting I'm just kind of flying around at this point I'm trying to get down there to where the stars I'm not sure how I'm going to grab it though there we go oh I see the gravity of this type of planet is different right I can still go around it though right yeah I can so that's what this is teaching me and as I say I can take as long as I like on the stage I can muck around and do whatever so I think that's why the game is kind of marketing itself as a as a meditative type game although what game you like to kind of just mellow out to varies from person to person like for myself honestly the type of game I would say I like to just mellow out to is something like Euro Truck Simulator which might sound weird to you but that's my kind of game for other people it might be Minecraft or 
you know, maybe just like um, Elite Dangerous. Games where you can you can just relax, technically still achieve things, but you don't need to worry about going fast or, or whatever. Although I will say sometimes when you're trying to get used to how the gravity works in the game, yeah, there we go. It can get a little itty bitty frustrating if you if you do just want to make progress. That's not entirely the point, I think. And the game, I, I don't know if it's deliberately marketed at children, however, I think it would be very safe for children to play if you have children of your own, who are of a young age. You basically just have, well, not quite, just three buttons. You can move left and right to give yourself momentum, spacebar jump, and as I say, you find more powers like the, the one that weights me down when I use it currently. But we're done on this stage, so now I just need to work out how to get back to the... There, 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 there we go. The gravity of the middle planet, and that's that stage done as well. Once you get to grips with the, the movement of the, the gravity of the planets, etc., you can actually get through the stages pretty fast. So Frozen Hollow, this might have the animal spirit on it. It does, so it's the spirit of a bird. So I have to catch that bird. Well, I don't have to. I can if I want. By the way, the more of these flowers I pick up, the longer my hair gets. However, I already got the achievement for my hair being the longest it possibly can be, and that didn't take long. Oh, oh, no, no, all right, you're getting away from me. So yeah, catching the spirit is optional. I just need to get the star in the middle. So let's see if I can catch this person. Oh, went the other way. No. Well, I got the star. Let's see if I can corner. Got you. No. I only want to save you. Which way are you going to go this time? Let's try this. Oh, I didn't have enough bounce. <laughs> He's just enjoying himself. Oh, now you're coming back here, are you? Oh, no. No. There. No. Wrong planet again. All right, now you're at the exit. These ice planets are actually making me move differently to what I'm used to. Yes, yeah, different momentum compared to these. That's what's throwing me off. So that's me learning another new mechanic. Get back here, bird. I want to be your friend. There we go. Right, so now I can safely leave and this bird will accompany me until I find the place that they belong. So I'll try and at least do that because usually there is a little bit of a, a cutscene not necessarily tying into the main story. And I don't really want to spoil the story because I think that'll probably be a big part of it. The animation is good as long as you like the type of art style the game has. The voice acting sounds fine as well, from what I've heard. Alright, so what have we got going on here? The star's in the middle, we've got a couple more orbiting planets, we've got an ice planet here. You can also buy the OST separately, and I forgot to go into the fact that it's available on Steam as of the 26th, so by the time you hear this it will already be available. Sadly already out of its pre-order phase as well if you did want to get it on a slight discount. But there will be a link in uh, the description box below to the Steam Store page. Which is where you can find the game and or the OST if you prefer. Now I'm just flying for the hell of it. Land, land, no, 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 that way. There we go. And then sink. No, no. Right, we've got it. Just go peacefully. It's no. These planets have stronger pull than the... <laughs> Come on. Right, I've got it this time. No, no I don't. Now I do. There we go, right, just walk to the exit. Let's try and get to the the place this bird spirit belongs, which is two more stages after this one. So this is Seesaw. Right, and we get a magic element water up there. Hmm. I don't want to show off too much of the game, although, I mean, it's technically a puzzle game, but at the same time, it's more for just mellowing out to, I feel. Now, if that's not your type of thing, if that's not what you're looking for from your games, then fair enough, this will not be for you. However, if you do have young children, I imagine that they would actually get a nice kick out of this. Maybe aim the girls more so than boys, but I don't know. Uh, was that all I needed on that stage? It was, it was. Let's carry on. Alright, so binary star and then I can find the bones on the next stage. Let's try and at least do that. Oh, alright. So these bounce me like crazy. Hmm. Come around it. No, oh, no, almost, almost. No. Nope. There we are. I had to use the power to do it. Mm, that should be enough to. No, nope, no. Nope. There we go. No, nope, not quite. I need to get enough bounce to get caught by. There we are. And we're done with that one. Alright, so on this next one, we're looking for the bones. You don't need to do that to finish this stage. Ah, they're right by the exit anyway, so. Oh, they're like shooting across, okay. 
didn't mean to go in this direction, but you've got to get used to which way you're... Oh, there we go. Which way you're facing and then which way the gravity will take you as a result. So hang on, how do I want to do this? I want to get over to the far right, so therefore I want to come around from here and go whoop! And then turn, nope, nope. Ah, maybe go full circle, full circle. Yeah, that'll give me enough lift, I think. No, it didn't. Oh, but that did. Yes, yes, there we go. So we should get a little cutscene here with a little bit of talking, so I'll be quiet. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the right... Ah, you're not the right bones for this guy. Of course not. It's not bird bones. Interesting. So that's why you do want to extend your hair so you can take more of them with you. So hang on a minute. Where is the bones of a bird? I don't... S oh, there we go. Sparrow haunt. All the way up there, I see. Well, all right. Rather than doing light heart then, let's see if we can carry on and get to the bird bones. It's raining! Hmm, so how do we do this? Must be some special feature. Oh, what does that say? Run around the planet to terraform. Will do. Oh, it's going to turn it into the water type so I can just splash into it and get this. Yeah, alright. I get it. Also very pretty. Whoops. <laughs> Let's just go around this way. There we go. So that's another new ability. I've got Watering Hole. Probably have to use it here as well. Cure E to cycle your elements. I only have water, so... Oh wait, can I go back to neutral? I can. Can I turn this into a neutral planet? No. Alright. But I can if I want to turn stuff into water. Like so. <laughs> Whoops. Get in there. There we go. There. Alright. I'm getting into the swing of things, I feel. So we'll do Icy Links, we'll do Sparrow Haunt. Then if we don't really get enough of a sample of voice acting, I'll go replay like the intro. Oh, there's actually a different animal on this planet as well. Terraforming planets uses up your hair. I see. So I can turn this ice into a water planet. So that would just let me leave if I had the star, but I don't have the star, so therefore we must find it. Gotcha. That's we got two animals. That might be the animal that belongs in that other stage we found. Now, I don't really want to turn this into water, do I? Hmm. Not sure I needed to do that. Oh, I'm stuck in the gravity of this planet. Well, let's turn all these since we're here. There's enough flowers to get my hair back anyway. Gotcha. Alright, we don't actually need to transform that one then. Oh, get back in there. No, no, no. <laughs> Hang on, let's turn away from that. I have too much momentum right now, that's the problem. So let's get rid of the momentum and then just do a little hop. No. Gotcha. There we are. So we know for sure the bird's going here because that's very clearly a... Uh, bird skeleton. So let's do that one first, then I'll try the other one and see if it's the other animal we just picked up. So where is the bones? You can't terraform if your hair is too short. Don't worry about that, it's still massively, massively long. Oh, but I need the water for this, obviously. Oh, there they are, down there. I uh, didn't need to transform this, so I won't bother. Now, let's see. Alright, so there we go. We have saved that bird spirit and now it leaves behind a bunch of the flowers which make our hair grow. And I messed that up slightly. I should have followed the exact same path, but oh well. Oh, there we go. Got a few there. And a few more. Nope, I want to get in the middle to get the star, damn. There, there, nope, yeah, there we go. And that's probably enough. My hair still looks pretty long. Oh, oh, there we go. Right, let's go back to that other stage and see if that's where the other animal belongs. Oh, we're getting another story cutscene, actually. Okay, I'll let this play and be quiet for a minute. All aboard the tea train. 
Next stop, Tummy Town. Population T. Yay! Is your name really Eddie? Like Edward? Like a whirlpool, Lila Ven. Carrot or rhubarb? Carrot, please. Their tea is so much better than hickories. Ah, that young lady's got her hands full. Are you helping out at home? I help by not being home. Ha! Oh. We'll have some veggie pot pies, and then you can take the rest to her. Okay. Your cooking is better than hers, too. What's your secret? Eddie? It's made of people! Oh, it's not over yet, either. Hmm, interesting. So there's some weird things going on. As I said, I was finding it hard to try and explain what's going on because the game is withholding a lot of information. It's being very ambiguous. So maybe my synopsis of the rough idea of the story is wrong. But there's definitely a fox that your character was friends with in life. This appears to be some kind of afterlife and she wants to be reunited with it. Now, where was that? It was at the exit again, wasn't it? Nice. Oh, it was this one. Good. I have no idea what animal that is. You'll get used to not pooping. You'll get used to not pooping. Good. Oh yes, of course, indeed. I didn't have enough left. That's probably enough. Anyway, I don't want to show off too much more of uh, Gravity Ghost. It is available on Steam. The asking price is £10.99 or assume, presuming that the regional equivalent is the same as well. I actually consider that a little steep. You'll know that my, my base price for kind of like games of this ilk is usually around about the 6 99 price range. That said, it's a very pretty game. It's very relaxing. And if you're into this sort of thing, you might want to give this uh, a look. And the link will be below for you to do that if you want. And also check out some reviews. Keep in mind this is first impressions. I have not played through all 100 stages. However, if I want to de-stress at all, I may come back and carry on. So this has been a look at Gravity Ghost. Thank you very much for watching thus far, if you have. Please leave a like if you did indeed like the video or want to just show your support to me or the developer. And there will be more daily gaming stuff to come. Thank you once again. My name has been Flick and I shall see you next time. Ta-ta for now.